Ready, Ted? Yeah, ready. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Me and Ted are out here in the yard this morning, tinkering around with some gear. He recently made a post on our Instagram and Facebook pages. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And he asked y'all what was the most frequently asked gear questions that you had. Since deer season is now over for us, we want to go through some of those questions for you guys. But we decided just to make an entire video about stands and saddles because that was the number one question y'all asked was what kind of saddles we have, what is our preference between saddle and tree stand. We've used them both in the past. So I'm gonna go through all things tree stand and saddle today. I'm gonna go through the brands that we've used on both and I'm gonna talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of both, at least our opinion on it anyway. A lot of this just comes down to personal preference. So I would recommend that all y'all get some stands and some saddles, find a buddy that has one, whatever, and just practice with them a little bit to see what fits best, fits your style best. But first thing, I'll talk about what I feel are the advantages of the tree saddle because obviously if y'all been watching us, this is what we've been using for the last couple of years. It is extremely lightweight. It is very packable. As you can tell, I'm wearing my saddle right here. And if you're using a hang on tree stand, you're gonna be wearing a full body safety harness of some kind. So regardless, one of these two apparatuses has to come with you to and from the woods. The thing that makes the saddle really efficient in my eyes is this platform and how packable it is. This little bitty thing will fit in that little pack right there. And I can put sticks right on the back of the pack. Ted will show you guys how all this breaks down later and how we pack it to the field. But the main thing I like about this setup versus a tree stand is it's lighter and it's more packable. You can see how easy this thing is to put on the tree. There's one strap. You, it's easy once you get up in the tree and you're hanging off of everything to just pull it out of your pack, slap it on the side of the tree, one strap around, it cinches in and it's really, really solid up on the tree. The saddle also enables us to move around a lot quicker. It's just faster to hang, in my opinion, than a, than a hang on tree stand is. Now, some people may debate that. I, I guess it comes down to personal preference, but me, personally, I hunted with a hang on stand for 15 years, and I've hunted with a saddle for two, three years, and I can get this thing in the tree way quicker than I can with a hang on stand. Like I said, it's much lighter and easier to pack. And as y'all know, we hunt on the ground all the time. If we get up in a tree, like the hunt that Gooch and I had this fall, we were up in the, in the tree with the tree saddle, spotted a buck, climbed down the tree, and then went and eventually killed him on the ground while we were wearing the saddle. So it's nice for that. You can pull it down faster, you can set it up faster, yada yada. It's just more efficient in my eyes, and that's the number one advantage to having the saddle. Now there's also some advantages to having a tree stand. As you can tell, this platform is quite a bit bigger, the seat can be very, very comfortable to sit in, and I'm trying to think of the advantages of the tree stand. Honestly, I don't, I don't have a lot of advantages for it. It's pretty comfortable. This is Ted's old lone wolf. You can see right here. He puts his name on this stuff so that Jake doesn't steal it. This is a good tree stand. This is one of the, what, lone wolf assaults? Maybe yeah, Lone Wolf Assault 2, I think. Lone Wolf Assault 2. Dan just came out with his new hunting beast stand, which we're anxious to get our hands on. It's even lighter than this thing. There's lots of other good lightweight options on the market if you want to go with the tree stand. As you can tell in our videos, we used to use these things all the time and they work great. It's kind of just a personal preference. A thing I do like about a tree stand is that you have a bigger platform. It's maybe a little bit more comfortable for an all day sit, especially if you remember to put your seat pad on the tree stand itself. As you guys know, we've kind of ditched these things the last few years. I mean, Greg still uses one every once in a while to sell film out of, but 90% of the time we're hunting out of the saddle for a lot of the reasons that I mentioned in the first place. One what? thing that we did notice was we didn't seem to move around as much when we were in a tree stand. Yeah, that's I true. I think it's easier to move around when you're hanging off the tree in a saddle. Yeah, but yeah, definitely stand, because your weight is suspended, you yeah. know. But when you're sitting right here, you're not going to move as much. All right, now I'll go through the brands of the equipment that we've used. I just talked real briefly about the tree stands that we've used in the past. One of them that I forgot was uh, the Muddy Vantage and the Muddy Bloodsport stand. We used to use those all the time. Killed a lot of deer out of them. I don't even think they make those things anymore, to be honest. So you might have to go on eBay or someplace and buy a used one if you're interested in one of those. But as far as the saddles go, this is the tethered Phantom that I'm wearing right now. And this is the saddle that all of us wore this fall. It's the most comfortable saddle that I've ever worn. 
Um, I've only wore about five or six different ones in my life, but this is the most comfortable one. The model that we used before this year was the Tethered Manus saddle, and uh, it was also a good option, but the Phantom, is this one is like the Lamborghini of tree saddles. This is the top of the line, most comfortable one that we've worn, and I would assume that everybody else would agree with me on that, don't you think, Ted? Yeah, I would agree. The yeah. last two saddles they've made are very similar, but this one has just a couple of modifications that make it a little bit nicer yeah it's a little bit more comfortable i would say than the manis but not by much just just barely so if you're trying to pick between the two i would say both of them are good options but if you want ultimate comfort the phantom is definitely the way to go several years ago i tried some of the other brands as well my buddy riser sent us a couple of them to try and uh, for the most part, they worked great. But once we got into the tethered stuff, we really noticed a huge difference in comfort and weight overall, just how efficient we could be with, it, with these things. Now, here's the platform. This is the other essential piece of gear that you have to have with your saddle set up. Well, I shouldn't say that. You don't have to have it, but these things make it really, really nice. This is the Predator platform from Tethered. This is the original one that they made. As you can tell, there's one strap the footprint is a lot smaller than a, than a hang-on tree stand and this is a relatively small hang-on stand that ted has right here you can see the difference the platform is way smaller but you get full usability out of this thing i'll jump up in it real quick so you guys can see what i'm talking about as far as usability goes is usability a word i don't know sounds good hopefully it's a word i got a lot of redneck speak in me some of which is right and some of which is not How's it going? Just a dude in a rabbit hat hanging from a tree in the middle of the winter. There you go. Attach the tether about chin height. And now we're on here. And yeah, you guys can see what I mean by the, the platform. You don't use it like a tree stand, whereas you're on the tree stand platform. You're standing flat on this thing. And you obviously don't want to be pushing on the sides of it too far. Otherwise, it can kick out from underneath of you. The saddle platform... You can push off the edges. You can see the little grooves that they have in the edge of the platform there. That helps it grab your boot when you're off to one side. And I'm way over here on this side where I can shoot around the tree right here. And the same will apply with this side where I can shoot around the tree. I think one of the main reasons we get so many questions about this stuff from you guys is because this is not a cheap purchase either way. Like whether you decide to get into a high quality hang on tree stand or whether you decide to go with a saddle and platform setup, it's gonna be pretty expensive. I mean, you're gonna drop four or 500 bucks in a hurry. And a lot of you don't take those purchases lightly. I don't blame you a bit. I wouldn't either. That's why we're doing this video for you is to hopefully provide you a little bit more information so you can make you know the right decision when it comes to purchasing. But to be honest, there's really not a wrong decision here. Either one of these options will work extremely well for mobile hunting. I mean, we've used them both over the years, and once you get sort of your program down with how you pack them in and out of the woods and how you set them up, things really become very efficient with either method. That's the main thing, though, that you can't overlook. Once you get this stuff in your hands, you need to take it out in the yard and you need to practice with it, regardless of what setup that you end up going with. Because the first time I got into a tree saddle, it was kind of nerve-wracking. It was like, I, have, I, I don't know what I'm doing. It took some practicing to get used to. And to be honest, the same is the case with the mobile hang-on stand. That's how it was for me when I started using these things when I was a teenager. It's a significant purchase either way you go, but you're gonna buy this stuff once and you're gonna use the crap out of it nonstop. It comes in and out of the field with you. I've had the same platform for like two years now. Been up and down on, you know, 100 plus hunts with me already. The same could be said with these hang on tree stands. They come in and out of the woods with you every time. That's what they're designed to do. It's not like the days where we used to go to Menards or Walmart or wherever and buy 25 of those cheap tree stands and hang them up on every tree on the property. Now you can just zip down and back up as often as you want. It's pretty easy. That's kind of the idea idea behind all this mobile stuff. Now Ted's going to show you guys how we pack these two things together. All right, so this is the pack that we take to the woods and this has everything you need to climb a tree, you get your platform, and then obviously you'd be wearing your saddle. I believe this is called the Predator Pack, this brown pack. You can just slide your platform right into it and that's got all the straps you already need to cinch everything down tight. So you can slide your platform in there and then on the back side you can put your climbing sticks, whatever sticks you have. They've got these two straps that come off the bottom of the 
pack and then they cinch tight to these loops. And you can obviously see that that's pretty tight and keeps everything pretty quiet. It's got those little backpack straps that you can cinch down right there. Yep, so this thing pretty much comes ready to pack your stuff in and go hunting. We started using this a couple of years ago. Before we had these, we were, we were throwing everything over our shoulder with straps and everything was flopping on our sides. And then we got a couple of these and now everything sits real compact in this pack. All right, now show them how you pack your tree stand with your sticks. And boop. All right, so now I took the sticks and put them on the tree stand. This is how we used to pack these in when we were using hang-ons. So I just took the two straps that you hang the tree stand to the tree with and strapped them around. It holds the sticks pretty dang tight right there. Not a whole lot of movement, not a whole lot of noise. And I just got backpack straps from Army Surplus, and these are pretty comfortable. Let's throw them on. Got your lap belt there. Yep, got a belt. Since that down, it takes a little weight off your shoulders. And that's how we pack a tree stand into the woods compared to the tree saddle, I guess. This is definitely a very comfortable option, especially if this is all you have, is just your tree stand and sticks. But as you can tell, it's quite a bit bigger footprint than the saddle platform. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Obviously, we're partial to the tree saddles. But that's just our honest opinion after using the, both of these things for the last few years. This is just what we've ended up with. This is what we want to take to the woods with us most of the time. I'm not saying that the tree stand doesn't have its place. And a lot of other people disagree with me and they like to use tree stands. We don't care. Just go hunting and use either one of these products. But that's just our honest opinions on how they've worked out for us thus far. And also, before we go, I want to let you all know what's coming up on the channel real soon. We have picked a winner for the hunt giveaway that we were doing with Vortex and Onyx last fall. We're going to announce that winner here real soon on an upcoming video. Ted and Gooch have been hunting geese with bows somewhere. I don't know how well that's been going. I'm assuming they've got a few. We got one last time, but... We, we won't spoil the rest of it for you because they've been a few other times and they're going again this weekend. So we're going to have some of those videos coming up. Me and Ted are putting a scope on a 223 at his house right now. We're getting ready to try to shoot some coyotes with that. Probably do a little shed hunting here pretty soon. Starting a plan for the turkey tour. And we got gobs and gobs and gobs of turkey hunts still left over from last spring that we're going to start to bring you guys once February rolls around. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on the comparison. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. I'll, oh yeah, and I'll post links down below for all this stuff so that you guys can go and learn more about the products themselves from people that actually, you know, know what they're talking about. See ya.